Hello YouTube, I'm back, and this time I've made an Aerodox keyboard, and it wasn't part of one of those kits off MassDrop, it was just me cutting it on my CNC with the plate, and I ordered some of uh, the PCBs and all the switches off of MechanicalKeyboards.com. Nice site if you're in the U.S., if otherwise I think it does deliver internationally as well, but I'm not advertising for them, they just delivered stuff well and came on time and everything. So here's the final product that I ended up with. I reused the keycaps that I was using on the Atrius keyboard from last time. I have some more keycaps in the mail. Well, they're not in the mail yet, but they'll be here in August sometime off of a uh, mass drop. Um, but so right now I'm reusing these keycaps. Everything else is new. I cut this out. It's just uh, acrylic. I went to the local plastic store and got some pieces of acrylic here actually this one's the one that's been sanded this one has not uh, so I got some pieces of acrylic I cut it out uh, you'll notice that I don't have screw holes in the top like all the other kits what I ended up doing is I glued these top two layers together and inside them I have a little cavity which I put a screw into and so that still screws to the bottom just like the other ones but this screw is perfectly sized to go through and into the, the nut and yep nice clean look I had fun at the build process this is the first time that I've actually used the PCB uh, to make a keyboard with and it made things a ton easier it was just really tedious soldering on all the diodes and then soldering on the TNC wasn't so bad um, the one of the harder parts was actually soldering on the extended USB cable some of those little pins are very small and I screwed up on one of them and they were touching so I had to go and desolder some of it but it wasn't a bit huge deal nothing got fried everything worked on the first try because I noticed that uh, um, bad solder point on the USB at the very beginning so before this I was on my Atrius keyboard and then before that I was on a 60% poker uh, 3 keyboard and so this is my first time doing a split keyboard a true split keyboard the Atrius it only has like the little line in the middle this one you can move it all around however you want um, it's also my uh, first time using any kind of thumb cluster and lastly I've been trying to learn Colmac I tried learning that on the Atrius and I carried on with he this guy here um, it's been painful to say the least so I've been on Colmac for maybe a month and a half and my typing speed is 26 words per minute so pretty bad and it's really painful switching over to somebody else's laptop when you go to QWERTY because you actually start forgetting the keys I'm sure if I went back to it full time I'd pick it up pretty fast because it's like second nature but sometimes you know you mess up the N and the K and you know this tons of little mistakes actually the biggest mistake that I make is the R and the S so annoying why didn't they just leave those alone they're both in the same row anyways anyways I could probably change that but then all other places that use Colmac I can't just use Colmac so things that I like and I don't like about this thing I love the thumb cluster in general I love its idea uh, so I have uh, backspace and then delete here and then on the other side you have space and you have enter and those look, work beautifully. These other keys all the way around, useless. I can't like just reach my thumb over uh, to it very comfortably. Uh, sometimes I can hit this guy if I really try, but I've just stopped trying at this point. Um, I really wish I, this would probably just be maybe a little bit closer and have three of them, uh, three big buttons, or if you had a different layout, if you like move this vertically, so you have one here and one here. I don't know. I'm just coming up with ideas here. But in my mind, these are useless. These are also kind of hard to reach. Um, and I right now I'm using this as a shift, and this is the brackets and parentheses. I think I'm going to change that, though, just because being a programmer, you tend to use those keys a lot. But I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it at this point because up here I have my plus my equals, which is also a really hard uh, thing to reach normally. But if you're typing normally, not a programmer, then this probably won't bother you at all. Um, all the rest of it's standard Colmac layout. So I added some rubber feet on the bottom of this. I can't remember where I got them from, but they work perfectly. 
uh, so I can set them down on the desk and it's not going to move. It's, I mean, I'm really trying and that thing's not wiggling hardly at all. Um, and also when I go to travel, I just put them together like this. So the rubber feet are touching the cases together instead of anything else. And so it's per, uh, pretty much protected. I just throw my backpack just like that and super easy to travel with like that. Um, I don't really d ever disconnect this cable uh, up here. Uh, some people complain about it uh, being like too finicky. Well, I just leave it always connected. So I have no problems there. And this is a nice, I like this cable because it's a, has the coil on it. So you can stretch it out pretty far. And thanks to the rubber feet, it actually stays in place. So thinking of the split part of the keyboard, besides the thumb cluster, well, the usable part of the thumb cluster, the split part is my absolute favorite part because I can position this however I want. And when I'm gaming, I only use half of my keyboard and the other half I just don't even care about because it's on my mouse. And so I have more mouse room doing that. But not that it really matters because I'm using a trackball for get my gaming. Oh, the screen turned off. Anyways, so I have some video of me putting this all together and it'll be a time lapse, so stick around if you want to watch that. Otherwise, leave a comment, you know, put a thumbs up, subscribe, or don't. But have fun, enjoy. Thanks.